nearly summer. You know what that means. The Astra is going to come out of retirement. There's a question though. It has been a few months, as you can tell by the dirt. God, yeah, lots of dirt. Uh, is it going to start? Let's find out. A solid no. Right, there's enough charge to uh, get into the car, but not enough to actually start it. Can't sound too surprised. Right, let's have a look. Now, did I leave the charge pack in here? Somewhere else. Somewhere else by the looks of it. Right, let me go and find that. So I bought this uh, charge pack from Amazon, probably, knowing me. It's like 20 quid, I think. Uh, it's quite a thin, slim device. Quite useful for traveling around. Literally plugs in, only one way to put it in, so literally idiot proof. Then, I don't know what everyone else does, but I always put the ground on first on the live. It then comes up and says correct green light, then give it a little boost. first time. If you count it as having the booster pack on, then yeah, absolutely, first time, no dramas. Um, obviously, it's been sat all, um, all winter with no, yeah, I haven't run it at all. So, the battery may well be completely knackered. They might have to pick up a new one of those. I've got absolutely no idea how old it is. Yeah, I don't know. So I might do that, but it does need a very good clean. Yeah, absolute filth. So we'll have to do that at some point today. First things first, I need to move the Land Rover out of the way. So I'm going to grab the keys for that. Right, Land Rover keys found. Uh, can't remember whether I told you guys about this. I think I might have in the Civic video. 2013 plate, uh, Land Rover Disco, GS, not HSE. Um, auto, eight speed auto, um, flappy paddles. For, if you really wanted to go fast in it. I mean, it's a Land Rover, so they don't go fast. Um, it's a nice car to be fair. Uh, four grand. Can't, uh, can't complain too much about that. Needed front windscreen, rear windscreen, needed a bloody good clean. Um, I mean, it still needs, yeah, it still needs more cleaning to be fair. But apart from that, I mean, it's all right. Oh, most importantly, handbrake uh, doesn't work. It does start, first time, every time. 
Uh, still on the air suspension. Air suspension works. Looks like an absolute dream. Um, uh, yeah, starts like yeah, starts less time. Uh, gearbox is is brilliant. Uh, air suspension goes up, down, set, doesn't sink overnight. It's such, it's like, it's a nice car. Uh, can't remember how many miles it's done. Uh, I can't actually remember how to... Oh, there you go, 112,000 miles. So, not insignificant, but yeah, it's good. Pretty much full service history. Yeah, nice car. But yeah, let's move this out of the way so we can get the... Astra out to the front. Civic, um, so I bought it for two, sold it for three, three. Um, I actually let someone use it as well uh, during the time that I had it, uh, which they paid me for. Um, I wasn't expecting to be paid for it, but you know, I'm not going to say no. Um, so yeah, that's gone, and we've picked up a 2014. Um, Volvo V40, um, our design thing. It's a nice colour, it's in blue. Picture I'll put somewhere. Um, it's actually just having a cam belt um, water pump replaced, um, just because that's, that's, that's what I do. Um, and then when it comes back, we'll, we'll finish it off and get that, uh, get that sold too. But what we need to do with this now is give it a clean.
cleaning, uh, all out remover, pre-wash and the alloy. So we're going to start with fallout because it's been sat there for a long time, not a rust built up. So we'll give that, uh, give that a go now. That on for a couple of minutes, uh, let it do its work. Purple can't really see to be honest on um, on these wheels, they're like a gold metal grey, so no point showing you. So, like I said, I'll let that, let that settle in and then um, wash it off. Right, that's probably been on for long enough, so I'm going to uh, rinse it off and check uh, see what they look like using the Karcher pressure washer, stick on medium. And now I have an assistant doing the other side. The help can be a bit questionable. She's doing that hydro alloy, uh, spray it on, leave on, brush off. Right, that's all scrubbed in. She's gonna spray them all off. Once she's uh, done that, we're going to use the Hydro pre-wash. Uh, like I said, the car's been sat for quite a few months, so we're going to get this on uh, and uh, see what that looks like. Once she's done that, Hydro Snow is uh, what we'll be using to uh, well, finish it off, but we'll let that settle. Probably not how I do it. Um, and then uh, rinse it off and then on to the next bit.
time. Snow foam time. When did snow foam become such a uh, such a fashionable thing? Maximum foam, obviously. that on to uh, soak and clip off. Obviously it's supposed to get rid of all the, all the dirt and stuff that's, uh, that's on there. The one thing, and I've said it before, that you can't tell on video is how good the hydro stuff smells. It's like, yeah, like apple. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, leave that and then we'll rinse it off. Some people start at the top, some people start at the bottom. I'm not sure what it really matters. Sometimes after snow foaming, I let it sink in and then I give it a quick agitate with the uh, with the glove. Not today. Um, I think it was just too dirty, so that's all rinsed off. Now on to actually giving it a wash uh, using the Hydro shampoo, um, Hydro wash mitt, and potentially an assistant. We're washing it now. Are you ready? Let's go. Washed, now for rinse. The only non-hydro product I do use is the Auto Glim Polar Seal. Honestly, it's fucking amazing. Uh, even washing it just then, you could see uh, the effects like the seal from last time I, I put it on, which was obviously like months ago. Uh, creates like a really good hydrophobic layer. So, just a quick shout out to Hydro if you fancy making a similar product that would be brilliant you basically put a tiny bit in go and mix it with some water and then spray it on so same principle as when you snow foam it disconnected spray it on and let it do the thing <laughs> We 
just let that soak in for five minutes, uh, rinse it off, and then we'll, we'll give it a dry. I don't know whether you can see on the video, but it already like starts beading quite a lot as soon as you put it on. Um, yeah, ne next level. I really can't recommend. Jesus Christ! Can't recommend the polar seal enough. It's awesome. Fourth rinse, third, fourth, I don't know, many rinses. And that is that. Not the most exciting video. Uh, mainly because it actually started after many months of not, not starting. Uh, next thing I need to do is obviously dry it, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. So plans for this year with the Astra. Um, brakes, it's obviously got the standard, standard brakes. They're fine, but after relatively quick lap on the Nürburgring they definitely got a bit hot um, and a tiny bit of fade so um, some sort of Brembo's or something although literally this morning I saw the K-Sport had a deal on uh, literally half price off so I don't know it depends how many drinks I have tonight but there might be some K-Sport K-Sport 8 pots I'll put up a screenshot so you can see it's yeah really really good deal um, I've also obviously, if you saw one of the other videos, I've fitted the front mat into cooler. But what I haven't done is put the MTC Motorsport decal on. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure, but actually, to be fair, so I've got some uh, some paint. Um, so when it's not looking like it's going to rain, I'll uh, I'll do that. Um, and get that on just give it that sort of vibe I don't use the car daily and it's probably just going to end up as a, as a track toy um, the other thing is I do have some personalized plates to go on it so the car's a 2005 um, although it's only done 50 or thousand miles uh, yeah I've got a personalized plate just to sort of de-age it um, a little bit uh, 
and then after the brakes like maybe a smidge more power it's got obviously the um the front mount it's got upgraded plugs uh it's got the intake uh and everything like that so uh, and obviously yeah full full exhaust um so yeah the aim is to get somewhere around 300 ish uh which would be from my point of view sort of plenty i don't really want to go too crazy because well, obviously have the handling and stuff as well uh then yeah so brakes a bit more power then um yeah potentially some suspension bits uh maybe some different wheels i'm not sure obviously i've only just had these refurbed um and they do look you know they, they look fine if you're going for that sort of semi sleeper build well, i don't really like the word sleeper i mean it's obviously it's obviously sort of a semi sporty car so it's hard to be sleeper on that um and then uh yeah and then back to uh back to the nurburgring let me know down in the comments if any of you lot are off to the nurburgring this year It'd be good to uh try and sort of coordinate something um so yeah let me know all right thanks for watching